ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for my pen of the year 2022. Now I've made a lot of pet reviews this year, reviewed a lot of pens, a lot of great pens, some not so great pens, but one pen in particular from the moment I got it stood out. I'm gonna talk about that pen today. But before that, I've got some other pens I wanna show that stood out for particular reasons. And so let's get cracking. First little category here is my favorite budget pen. And that pen is the Stabilo Flow. This is, you know, like a blister pack pen from an office store kind of pen. It retails at a price, you know, under 20 bucks. It writes like a dream. It's very simple, basic nib, you know, takes a standard international, you know, uh, refill. It's great. It just wrote so well. And I, there's something about this design I like. I like the color. But yeah, it wrote well and uh, nice pen at the price. Beautiful pen at the price. So check that one out. The next category I want to talk about is the cool factor pen. And that is going to go to this pen. Now, like looking like this, it's like just a, you know, it's just a, a regular pen with a, you know, Schmidt nib and everything. It's made of metal and it just looks like a regular pen. To show this off to its best, I'm going to show you this little uh, video because over the top of this, because this is the Hover Pen 3.0. Uh, just, just super cool. Like a really cool factor pen that uh, I enjoyed and it wrote really well. So check out the review to this one as well. The next category uh, is material. Now, this could have gone in a number of directions, but what I decided to do was just a pen that looked beautiful and the materials were really nice. And so what I did picked here was the Kilk Epigram. Um, this beautiful swirled acrylic and the and the uh, silver trim there just make this an absolutely stunning pen. And I can look at this material all day long. It kind of reminds me of like a milky coffee. I, I just think it's absolutely stunning. Uh, great form, great design, but that material just absolutely beautiful. The next pen I want to show is what I'm calling the surprise, and that is this. This is the Hex Pen uh, DNA Evolved, and it's just a really beautiful pen. It writes like a dream. It has a really cool, uh, simple design, but uh, like, it's just super clever. And like, it shouldn't surprise me, but because people are amazing and what they can do is amazing. But like watching the ink sort of swirl through these, like, so the ink goes into these um, these channels that are, that are 3D printed into the body of the pen. And uh, it's just, it was fun, it, you know, it, it surprised me how much I loved this pen. Form and function. I chose these. These are the Quokka pens from Platypus Pens here in Melbourne, Australia. These are 3D printed pens. These are the pocket pens. There's a model uh, 10 pocket and a model one pocket, uh, the model 10 being the bigger one. Um, you can order these from Platypus Pens um, and they are just absolutely stellar pens. Good nibs, really well made. Personalizable, you can pick the pattern of the print as well as the color of the trim and the color of the body. Uh, and just super cool. They write so well, like they are perfect little pocket pens, great design, great build quality, great design, all that kind of stuff. So for form and function, the Quokkas from Platypus Pens. And the last of these initial categories uh, is what I'm calling the Marie Kondo category. So it's a pen that sparks joy. For me, this pen sparked a lot of joy. This is a Parker Vacuumatic Junior lockdown filler from like the 1930s. It's a vintage pen, a friend sold it to me, uh, and it is just beautiful. It writes so well, it's got a slightly stubby nib, the filling system and everything is in perfect condition. It's, it writes so well, but what I loved about it is the fact that, like I don't have a whole lot of vintage pens in my collection, but having some history in your hand, like this pen has been around for, you know, 80 years, 80 years. And here I am writing with it in 2022 in Melbourne, Australia. Like, that sparks joy for me. And so the Marie Kondo Award goes to the Parker Vacuumatic Junior Lockdown Filler. But the reason we are here today is for my pen of the year. As I said, from the moment I got this pen, it 
it had wow factor from the moment I held it, from the moment I wrote with it. I got it initially with a broad nib. I swapped it to a medium nib from the same company because that fits my writing habits just a little better. But it is this. This is the Gravitas Pens Delrin. Now, Delrin is a material that's primarily used in, it's like a, a plastic, basically, kind of material that's primarily used in um, industrial use and stuff like that. It's got, like, you know, good temperature resistance and water stuff, and it's good. It's a really strong material. And Ben Walsh over there in Ireland, who runs Gravitas Pens, loves using interesting materials. And so this is the Delrin pen. It's based off the Sentry pen model, which is the bigger brother of the Entry pen model, uh, which I also love. Uh, and so this is my pen of the year. So I'm going to talk about a couple of reasons why, and I'm going to do a quick writing sample and then wish you all a very happy new year. Okay, so one of the things I love are things like um, the finishing on this pen. It's the details that matter. It's that little logo there that like is just subtly engraved into the into the pen it's the you know the the threads are beautifully cut down to nano nano millimeters of precision i love the details i love the fact that filling this pen is cartridge or converter standard international um lots of nice strong threads there again which i love standard international uh and also eyedropperable this material you know is water resistant all that kind of stuff it's got good O-rings. You can eyedrop with this pen. Another thing I love is the size and weight. I've never written with this pen posted, um, it, although it's perfectly comfortable, but this size in the hand is great. The weight, with all this metal down here at the end, the weight is perfectly in your fingers. So when you're writing, you just don't feel it. The next thing I love is the micro grooves on the thread, on the, on the uh, section here. You don't feel them necessarily, but it stops the, the, the grip being slippery. So it's these little tiny little grooves cut in a particular direction that just stop you. So like going up, smooth, going down, you just feel a little tiny bit of like grip. That stops your fingers from slipping down the pen. Very, very nice. And then the last major reason is just writing with this pen is a joy. It writes so beautifully on the page. It's comfortable. It is reliable, all of those things. So the Gravitas Pens Delrin, my 2022 pen of the year. Let's see it writing. As with all of my reviews, I have Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper here. What we have is the Gravitas Pens Delrin. As I said, modeled uh, off the Sentry model from Gravitas Pens. Um, Century being the you know, the size and shape. Um, and the ink I have in this today is Dea Trementis. Alexander Hamilton. Which is an astonishingly beautiful purple. And in this pen, it's super dark. Because this pen writes wet. Like, this pen writes wet. Um... I love it. I love it. Uh, it's smooth. And as I said, it's super reliable. It's just a great, great pen. So there it is, my 2022 pen of the year, the Gravitas Pens at Delrin. I hope you found and pens that you loved this year. Um, I kind of liked thinking about a few different categories that I could uh, show for pens that I enjoyed uh, this year. Uh, but uh, really, when you have a pen like this one, like I reviewed a lot of really great pens, like, and I'm so lucky and I really, but this one is one I go to over and over and over again. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, all that stuff. Please, if, you, if you've got a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch. Uh, but most of all, please have a very safe and happy uh, new year. Uh, and uh, I really look forward to seeing you in 2023.